Right, is he? Yeah, I think so. It's no good thinking, Swift Nick. A lame horse is as much use as an empty coach. You clean my pistols? Yes. Loaded them? Yes. Prime them? Yes. And put them back in your holsters. You're learning. I'm hungry. Good. Good? Mm, it'll sharpen you up a bit. What day is it? Uh, Thursday. Oh, that's a pity. The York coach comes Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I know. What? We'll try the Cheltenham Road. Why? Why not? Well, come on. The mist is dispelled when a woman appears. Appears like the notes of a fiddle. She sweetly, sweetly raises our spirits. And you've been lost without that glass spiker. You strut in front of it like a crow in the gutter. When will they be here, Sir John? Oh, Lord knows. They're breaking their journey at Abingdon, according to Tranton's letter. Don't be so eager. I'm not. Oh. Now, what if the girl don't like me? She don't have to like you. All she has to do is to marry you. Have you ever thought that I may not want to marry her? No, I haven't. You're marrying her, Spiker, and that's an order. The old fool owes me money. All that's left is this diamond necklace. Well, can't he just give it to you? You don't listen, do you, Spiker? It's her dowry. He can't touch it. I've half a mind to marry the wench myself, but I don't feel up to it. So you take the girl, and I'll make do with the diamonds. But, Sir John... Oh, don't be so coy, Spiker. She's good enough peace. Bright eyes, good teeth. It's time you were breeding, Nathan. I can't have a bachelor as Miss Stewart. Besides, you'll be marrying into an old county family. It's what you've always wanted, ain't it? So you ride over to Abingdon and bring your bride to be back here. Caress her, caress her with... Oh, get on, Spiker. <laughs> Right, off you go, Swiftneck. What, well, by myself? Why not by yourself? I'm not going to be with you all the time, am I? Stand! In the name of Dick Turpin! It's Dick Turpin! Oh, no, not another one. Is he dead? Where am I? They all say that, don't they? Highwayman! That's right, Cully. Brother villains, fellow thieves. Oh, yes, of course. What's your name? Nigel Fuchs Withers. What? Nigel Fuchs Withers. No, well, I'll make do with Nigel. And you can call me Mr. Turpin. Turpin? That's right. We were after that carriage when you charge up, and then you bungle it, don't you? Well, I'm not having anyone use my name, especially with a name like yours. I thought it would frighten them. Oh, did you now? Well, it takes more than a name to stop a carriage. I, I didn't do it for the money. I, I did it because... because... Because of what? Come on, spit it out, man. Because of Philida. Philida? Philida Tranter. She's in that carriage with her father. She's on the way to Rookham Hall to marry Captain Somebody. Spiker. That's it. He isn't somebody. He's nobody. And are you in love with Philida? Madly. 
And Phyllida? Well, she's... she's rather romantic. I think she wants to be swept off her feet. I'm not really the sweeping kind. Well, you don't know till you've tried, do you? Well, cheer up. Nigel Fuchs with us. Spike a shine over. <laughs> On you go, on you go, out you go. Oh, please, Get out. No money, no ale. And I come back, you drunken sot! Davy! Yes, my lovey? Go and see what they want. Welcome to the old cock and bull, Master. Uh, David Trimble, at your service. I'll take you through into the parlour. It's quieter there and uh, more suitable for you of uh, quality. Uh, Swiftnik. Yep. Coat. And Jazz. Right, Nigel. Now you know what to do. I think so. Right. Servant, Miss Philida. <laughs> yes, she's a lot skinnier than Sir John said, Colonel, but we'll soon fatten her up when we get her to Rookham, eh? <laughs> and once she's had a few little spikers, she'll look a lot more comfortable. <laughs> I know Sir John has told you how I'm searching for a suitable wife, but every man needs somebody to sew his buttons and uh, warm up his bed, eh? <laughs> Is she strong, girl? I really must have. Uh, let's see. No, uh, she doesn't feel very strong to me. <laughs> Pull this off. Pull it off yourself. <laughs> I do believe she's got her temper, Carol. Spirit. I like that in a woman. It's the same with horses, ain't it? They don't gallop very far without spirit, eh? <laughs> I see she has breeding, Colonel. And you've none, sir. Don't look like that woman, you'll frighten the flies. Captain Spiker, Colonel, that is my credit. <laughs> Sit down, you stupid old dumpling. There's plenty more in the bottle. Dumpling, Captain, did you say dumpling? Oh, it's the old cold deaf. Old cold, sir. Deaf? You are a swaggling coxcomb. 